with a little bit of help, we got it on the mill, got it situated, and cut it into slabs. As you can see, there was quite a bit of uh, rot going on. Um, I think the thing's been sitting beside his office for about three years. But uh, he was pretty happy with it. We cut it into two and a quarter inch slabs, and he's going to let it finish drying and make it into a five piece table with uh, an epoxy center. So I think it's gonna come out pretty cool. I'll try and get some pictures of it when it's done or some video and uh, share that down the road. But uh, anyway, I apologize for the crappy quality of footage. I forgot my tripod at home today.
crusted. Made a hell of a beam. I don't get how these guys used to work this stuff. That's like an inch and a half there, so. Eighteen and three quarter inch diameter, and we do have a few of those for sale on our website at tx-coverage.com under the industrial section. We also sell the, the wheel with the belt, uh, which you see here. It rides in the V groove that, that, that grabs the actual blade itself. The the shafts that I'm using on the pulleys are one inch diameter. I'm running pillow pillar rocks. Hold that. The plate that they're attached to is 5 16 inch thick, and I'll get you the width on that. Give me a second here. I know I'm trying to take a little, a little bit of guesswork out because when I built this one here, uh, nobody really helped me. They're 10 inch by 10 inch, and with the way I've got it set up now, they're spaced out what you see right here on the adjustment end, uh, an inch and seven eighths. Now, the measurements from this section right here I'm pointing to, all the way down to this other end over here where this nasty welding job is, is actually, uh, let me see where I wrote it down here, or let me get you a measurement. Sorry about all the bouncing around, but I'm trying to do this by myself, folks. Give me one second here. It's actually 62 and 5 eighths. Like I said, now that's from the inside, down on the plate on that end, all the way down to the inside of the plate on this end. So that'll give you some dimensions there. The outside dimension from here all the way to the other end down here to the outside is 60 inches. So that gives you the width of the overall top part of the sawmill. Now, this section here measured from the outside of this two and a half inch square tubing from here all the way to the other end to the outside is 60 and one half inches. So outside to outside, left post to, to the right post, which is right here, 60 and a half. That gives you enough room for this piece of square tubing to travel up and down, slide, slide evenly. 
the pulley that is on the back of this thing right here that is attached to the drive on the motor or attached to the pulley on the back of the motor is 11 and a half inches in diameter. Now they make two different types of shafts. One you could use this little squeeze collar or whatever they call it to uh, tighten it up and keep it in place or the one it presses on the shaft. I prefer to like this type here because I can move it very easily if I need to. Pull the screws out, put them back in these two holes, it pulls this out, put them back in, it tightens it back down in the place you want it to. I've also, on the pillar blocks on this end, I started out with having the degree or the angle of this wheel further out this way by a fraction, maybe a quarter of an inch. Keep in mind that whenever you load this blade on here and you put a lot of tension, there's going to be some stress, fatigue in, in this area here all the way through the system, all the way out to where this blade, this blade is hugging this wheel. So what I did was, when I set it up, I did it, bring it out, like I said, a little bit angle this way, maybe a quarter of an inch. That way, whenever the blade tightens, you tighten the blade up, it's going to pull it.